I'm back at it. It's Slim the Fox with another review. This review is on episode nine of Tulsa King. The episode started with a flashback of the deceased mob boss son beating up a dude with his mob homeboy when another mob member calls the white to come in and, and intervene. And basically, the white kind of stops him from pretty much killing the dude, but the, the, the spot they at catches on fire. And the white couldn't save the dude. He tried to save the dude they was beating on, but he couldn't save him. And they all get out except for the dude. And then it flashes the present day with the white in the interrogation room with the um, ATF agent and another guy. But a, a lawyer comes in and gets the white out. And then he goes to see Stacy, who was recovered from the stomach shot. She basically tells him she's going to lose her job, which pretty much she is. I mean, you know. But I'm glad that she noticed that. Anyway, the biker gang leader, he holds court and tell the rest of the gang, yo, we finna go at the white. You know what I'm saying? Another uh, another lead, another um, biker gang member's like, yo, we need to just chill out. We got too much heat on us. Biker gang leader pull that, that blinky out and pop him in the head, drop him in front of everybody. I told y'all my man was straight on that psycho tip. Went by that play play. Anyway, the white, he visited the mob boss son. That's in town to basically, you know what I'm saying, try to boss him up. But the white, he flipped the script on him, basically told him straight up, yo, we making this money. You need to leave. You know what I'm saying the white come with that back up. He straight, he straight boss move on the, on the mob boss son. Like, yo, leave. You know what I'm saying I got this here. And the mob boss son, he, you know what I mean? He want to flex on him, but you know, he, he, he decides to back away. So the white run that round. Um, the right in the crew, they get the um, weed spot dude to hack it to my man, the biker gang leader money, and they take all his money, like straight up just, just, just snatch it all from him. And the white did some real stuff, man. He did some real hard stuff. He, he gave a meal to Stacy. That was gangster. You know what I'm saying? Showed us some love, which, you know, later on, she returns the favor with some BS. You know what I mean? But, um, the, of course, the biker gang leader, he won't get back for his money getting took. So he, he go to the bar with the gang and gun playing sues. And I'll let y'all see what happened next. But all I'm going to say is, look, man, straight off the bat, I ain't like how they got rid of the biker gang leader too easily. I thought he was a goon and the way they got rid of him, even though the white did him nasty style, straight, straight violate him with that pistola. You know what I'm saying? I thought they got rid of him too easily. I thought they could have lasted to at least the second season or something. I don't know if they, they could have at least got another season up out, homie. But, you know, I understand they had to do what they had to do. The ending part after that was predictable. You know what I'm saying? In a sense, when the ATF agents tossed the states, I knew what was going to go down after that. But in the, in, the, in, the, in the episode, one of my favorite songs of all time, you know what I'm saying? I got a big favorite song list, but that was one of my favorite songs they ended the episode with. So they get a thumbs up off that, too by itself yeah no anyway i'm gonna get episode nine of tulsa king 3.5 shootouts out of five it's another good episode this the show is flowing i mean everybody doing what they gotta do so hey shout out to the tulsa king it's your boy son the fox signing out i'm out here.